cool, man. Uh, let me ask you this, a random. If I'm someone at home making burgers, yeah, and give me your tips. Get, we're going to have the, the Radcast tips for at home. Radcast how, tips. Radcast tips for how can someone at home make a delicious burger? <laughs> yes. Well, here we go. Radcast tips with Spike Mendelson. Yes, I like it. This could be a new right. segment, brother. I mean. Totally. <laughs> We're going to fire this off. So first of all, okay, yep. you need good meat. Okay. If it's plant-based meat, you know, animal, whatever you guys are, are wanting to do, turkey, chicken, get a good blend of meat in there, okay? Now, always pull it out of the refrigerator and get it to room temperature. Never take your protein out of the fridge and put it right in the pan. That's a big no-no for starters, right? Burger bun ratio, let's talk about that, <laughs> all right? Guys, we can't be using these massive hala buns for burgers. It's too much bread. All right, make sure you get a bun that fits the size of burger that you're going to create. If it's a thin patty, get a little bit of a smaller of a bun. If you're going for this big hotel grill star, you know, poolside burger, I think <laughs> you can you get away with a little bit more bun. But very important, burger to bun ratio can make or break your burger. All right, salt and pepper. All right, I don't want to see anybody stuffing blue cheese or butter inside their burgers. Please, guys, whoever started that trend, please stop it, okay? <laughs> just just stop, all right? Just, just <laughs> let the protein be the protein. Salt and pepper that stuff right before you're about to hit it in the grill. Don't salt and pepper too soon. You don't want to get all that water out. Water and oil do not mix. Make sure you have a hot whispering, not smoking, whispering smoke of a pan, right? You want to wait for that little whisper of smoke come out, then put your burgers in there, set it and forget it, flip it once, don't smash, don't smash, and then to where we pack all the flavor, toppings are everything in burgers, sauces, textures, get some Funyuns in there, guys, make some Sriracha aioli, get some caramelized onions, uh, <laughs> You know, make sure you get toppings, and then of course, cheese. All right, don't be lazy with your cheese melting skills. Okay, <laughs> cap it, cap uh, the pan. You know we all have those lids that we don't use for all the pans we buy. Find one of those lids in your basement, bring it up, make sure you top it. You wanna, you wanna have like this, again, whispering smoke of melting vacuum. The worst thing is just let cheese melt from the bottom heat up because then it separates and it brings a whole different texture to your cheese, guys. Smiling cheese. We want, we want cheese to shine back at you you should be able to see your reflection in your cheese just like i see mine right now on this computer right. uh, and that's it i think i think that's it i think i think those those are them i love it i love it first that's gonna be a highlight clip in itself we're gonna have a two minute highlight of how to make the best burgers at home hey guys thanks so much for watching the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and of course Check out one of these other clips for all the latest tips and insights. We'll see you next time.